that was expected to come in, and indeed it has arrived uh, on the streets uh, then of the family home of Minister in the Presidency, the late Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtembo. It is the GCIS uh, motorcade. So, of course, his uh, comrades, his uh, colleagues uh, coming and arriving to uh, pay their respects there. Let me hand over at this point to our reporter who has been there on the scene throughout. Natasha Piri, over to you. Well, very good afternoon to you once again, Flo. Um, what you're seeing and what you and the viewers are seeing right now is that motorcade um, that is led by Umam Pumla Williams. I'm not so sure if you can actually see her coming out of um, the car and um, her colleagues, uh, uh, people from the GCIS, just paying their last respects to the late Minister Mtembu. Um, the mood is very somber, uh, Flo. Um, as you can see, the family is also sitting outside um, and also practicing social uh, distancing or physical distancing, adhering to those COVID-19 regulations. Um, that is Umam Pumla coming out of her car. Um, I suppose she's probably getting flowers, you know, just to lay um, outside the family home of the late minister, Jackson Tembo, who succumbed to COVID-19 related complications yesterday Flo um, this is something that shocked you know not only his family not only his political home and comrades but the nation at large that is Umam Pumla Williams from GCIS paying her respects uh, to the family just you know having a few words uh, there with the family the brother of Jackson Ntembo, who we spoke to earlier on, Mr. Michael Ntembo, and he was struggling to hold his tears back, you know, just saying that they've lost a father figure, they've lost a brother, and he was just relating, um, you know, his relationship with uh, Mr. Jackson Ntembo, saying that uh, he always took care of his family. Yes, he was a busy man, but he was never too busy for his family. He was never too busy for his community. Uh, Flo, let's just listen in on what Umam Pumla is actually saying. <laughs> Department of Public Performance Monitoring, Statistician General, MDDA, Brand South Africa, National Policy, Planning Policy, Sitanda, Uguti Sinjele, Uguti, Sizon Nina, Nalil Kawe, Siamaz, Utube Sebenza, Mobus Misela, Uyo Yonkin, Tobegayanza, Sniggy Direction, Minister Mtembu, Ube Umundu, Ongas Pony, Sugut was gone. Minister Mtembu, Ube Sniggy Nau, Yoguti Spege Umbono, Woguti Sengenze Njani, Woguti Senze Uhulmeni, Asebenze Naman Pase South Africa Bangono. Ati Futi Nala Kosenze Ama Puta Kona, Asponi Se Ugutu Gubu Plas Pute Kona, and the scorn and not to start my mistake of us niggas I think no no I thought that I will also use this opportunity to say we want to express our condolences. I thought I will finish, I will ask some of my colleagues uh, to come and say a few words in English. I thought I was gonna succeed. You are allowed to come and drop off through the flowers as we do the ritual.
somebody else will be coming to to come and talk. So that was Umam Pumla Williams uh, giving a heartfelt uh, message uh, to the family describing her relationship with the late minister Jackson Tembu. She's struggling to hold back her tears. Um, she had just described how strong Mr. Mtembu was, how strong-willed he was, uh, and the contribution he actually, you know, made um, in government um, as a minister, minister in the presidency, and really, really emotional. She can't hold her tears. She was expected to speak longer, but had requested that a colleague come and speak on behalf of uh, the GCIS and on behalf of the government colleagues. Uh, there's another a colleague um, that is paying their respects to the family and giving flowers over uh, to the Mtembu family. Um, we expect many more people to actually come through and, uh, you know, lay their wreaths. We expect many other people to, you know, just talk about um, their experience with Mr. Mtembu, what kind of person he was, and the legacy that, you know, he left behind, his contribution, uh, you know, to the people of South Africa, to government, and his political home. We all know that he played... Um, a massive role, an important role in the mass democratic movement flow. Um, he he played a pivotal role, crucial role in setting up ANC structures after its unpanning in 1990. And we all know what role he played here as the minister, I mean as the MEC of transport in Bumalanga from the years of 1997 to 1999. Flo, at some point, he was a face and he was the voice of the ANC under the leadership of the late Utata Nelson Mandela from 1995 to 1997. He still stayed with the ANC, playing a crucial role within its National Executive Committee, which is the highest decision-making body of the party in between conferences. We know that uh, in 2016 to 2019, he served as a chief whip of the ANC in Parliament. And I mean, who could forget a crucial role that he played in 2018 when he was deployed to KZN and he worked and he helped um, in convening a provincial conference um, in that province. He also played a part um, you know, of a crucial delegation, ANC-NEC delegation that led the process of rebuilding the structures of the party in the troubled Moses Mabida region. Um, he's been described by all and sons as a man of strong will, a man who took self-criticism, you know, a revolutionary cadre. He was always willing to admit um, his mistakes and where he made mistakes, he then corrected himself. Um, he was a revered person. Uh, we heard various uh, leaders of political parties flow saying that really his contribution to the people of South Africa, to government, will actually be missed and is actually being felt. This was a man who gave himself up for the struggle of freedom in the country. This is a man who played a huge role within government, not only within government, but his movement, the NEC, uh, the ANC-NEC. I mean, he was described as a one-of-a-kind person, uh, a great caliber of a man who who was incorruptible, Flo, who, who loved his people, who loved his, his country, who spoke out very often against corruption, not only in government, but in the ANC as well. And he truly has left um, a huge vote. And just by the show of these cars flow, um, you can see the kind of person Jackson Tembu was. You can see the kind of contribution that he made for his people. And as you can see, the motorcade is continuing. What we're observing is that people are coming out of their cars, laying wreaths by the car.
So, Flo, we leave it to you. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought, uh, you know, over these uh, visuals as uh, we're talking and as you're speaking uh, so eloquently about uh, contribution of uh, Jackson and Tim, but just to also um, something very interesting that, uh, you know, I picked up uh, today, you know, yesterday I went to uh, his Wikipedia page and, uh, you know, the, the, the date of uh, death uh, hadn't been up uh, as, as yet. Uh, a few hours after we'd uh, received the news and uh, you know just checking now it's uh, really become so very real um, as you look here on uh, Wikipedia as it has a uh, date of birth as well as uh, his passing but uh, also while I'm looking through uh, his accomplishments which you've highlighted uh, many of them uh, there the fact that uh, his political career uh, really is a strong one and a strong presence uh, for the ANC no doubt uh, he, as we saw uh, Mampumla Williams really not being able to hold back uh, the tears at that point and, and, and who can blame her really as someone that uh, worked very closely in uh, GCIS uh, with uh, Minister Mtembu. Um, of course we remember as you did say that uh, he served as uh, MEC for transport uh, in Mpumalanga in that very province where you are today uh, Natasha from 1997 all the way um, to 1999 um, and uh, elected to the National Assembly um, in 1999 so so really he spent uh, some time um, in Mpumalanga really kind of honing his leadership but also and uh, rightly being elevated to that of uh, the National Assembly of uh, South Africa um, he was uh, married and I uh, think that's the lady that we've been seeing there a little bit of uh, there as uh, and you can maybe tell us uh, further uh, who's receiving uh, the, the the people that are coming to pay their respects was married to uh, Tembim Tembu uh, he had six children um, and of course that uh, sad situation a lot of people have been talking about it on uh, social media too um, just about the fact that you know he had dealt with a really really a uh, lot of pain um, during uh, recent years we'd heard about the fact that um, his daughter um, had in fact committed suicide um, while she was studying uh, in, in, in Cape Town, uh, Nokwezi Mtembu. Um, so five, uh, five children uh, left and uh, you know we also heard about a very sad situation where there was an armed robbery where he really uh, kind of fought for his life and to be taken uh, such a strong man to be taken by COVID-19 really speaks volumes about this virus that you know South Africa is uh, faced with you know he succumbed uh, to to COVID-19 so of course as we're watching here in the background people uh, really adhering to the protocols we saw that tweet by uh, Mr. Jackson Mtembu last week saying that his family and close associates and friends will be tested um, uh, of course, everybody that would have been uh, close to him um, at risk at this point. So you can certainly see just from those visuals that uh, uh, they're bringing for us uh, there by the SABC as well as Natasha that people are indeed adhering uh, to all the, 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 the protocols and trying as much as possible uh, to be safe while also really being there for the family and, 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 and trying indeed to pay their last respects. Obviously not the way that we're used to. It is, you know, the new normal and things we're not used to. I mean, you know, when it's uh, funerals we're used to the hugging and kissing and people you know they cry you can't even uh, comfort them at this time very sad scenes indeed uh, coming from Emalatheni in Mpumalanga let me hand back to you Natasha Definitely, Flo. I mean, uh, you raise quite a, an important point there. I mean, um, especially in the African culture, Flo, when somebody passes on, I mean, you're used to, uh, you know, uh, people coming over uh, to, to, to support the family, you know, sending their messages of condolences. Um, we have what we call umlindelo as well, you know, in our African culture. And unfortunately, we live under the new normal, and this is a new normal. Um, you know, family members, people can't come inside the house uh, get to hug the family actually comfort them in the way we actually know and uh, right now because of COVID-19 I mean people are you know conducting drive-bys people cannot have you know 
know, close contact with uh, the family. Uh, there has to be some form of physical distancing, as you're witnessing um, here on camera flow. And I mean, amongst the family as well, I mean, just to see them uh, keeping their distance from each other is, is quite sad. Uh, this is not the usual way of, you know, a person grieving or a person coming to support, you know, um, the family. But in those visuals, you can see um, the family members of uh, the late Minister Mtembu, the brother as well, they in the front, and we can see that uh, the provincial secretary of the ANC in the province, Umam Lindi Wenjali, is the one who is, uh, you know, the MC of, uh, you know, uh, this, 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 this drive-by. But I mean, the family is very, very emotional. The scenes themselves are actually speaking um, you know, for themselves. The mood here is somber. We have community members who have also come out, you know, uh, you know, in a show of unity, in a show of support um, for the Temple family and for their loss. I mean, um, just speaking to other community members earlier on today, they had said that it's not only a loss for the Temple family, but uh, for the community as well. This is a person who was humble. I mean, he had such a high stature in society flow, but was still a people, was still a man of the people. He will still relate with the people here in Emalate, in his hometown. Never did he ever think that he was above anybody, but he was just an ordinary man. He loved his community community. He loved his people. I mean, the neighbors just saying that he did everything that he could to to actually empower them as a community and he was much loved. And this, I mean, this is a show of, of unity. This is a show of a man who really did love his people and his community flow. He was described as an exemplary leader, an activist and a long, uh, you know, lifelong champion of freedom and democracy. He was much loved uh, not only by his his comrades in the ruling party but other opposition parties as well I mean just speaking to various political leaders and their relationship you know the likes of uh, Deputy President of the EFF Floyd Shibam who had a close relationship with uh, Mr. Mtembo regardless of you know which political home they actually belong to but I mean this is a relationship that you know they had uh, together so I mean the ANC hasn't lost. The nation at large actually has lost, uh, you know, what people describe as, as, as a hard-working, strong-willed uh, minister flow. And, um, you know, people are just saying that his presence will be felt by many. I mean, just yesterday in that interview with the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, when she was just speaking to my colleagues, had said that, um, you know, it's, it's ANC members are coming to, are grappling with, you know, his loss. I mean, people are still shocked. This is a person that was active, that was talking to people just yesterday, early in the morning, but now, unfortunately, he is, he is no more. I mean, we just heard Umam Pumla Williams, the Director General of the GCIS, battling to hold back her tears, battling to control her emotions. She really is in disbelief. She really is in shock because, I mean, they, they worked quite well, closely with each other. And now, unfortunately, Umvelase, as he's affectionately known, Flo, is no more. I think what, what caught my attention when talking to um, the minister's brother, uh, Mr. Michael Ntembu, he had said to us as the media that, I mean, his last words, the last conversa conversation that they actually had together was about COVID-19. Remember, uh, Minister Jackson Temple was kind of the face, you know, of COVID-19. Always, we'd always see him briefing the media, you know, on uh, regulations about COVID-19. And unfortunately, he succumbed to this very virus flow and the last words that he said to his brother uh, Michael um, Tempo was that please please uh, be safe in, in his very own words he had said that I COVID, I make sure you wash your hands, you sanitize you keep your physical distance and you wear a mask at all times and this is the last conversation that he had with his brother before his untimely passing flow.
right, uh, Natasha, of course, uh, talking over what we're seeing here, uh, those visuals, as you can see, um, some of his uh, colleagues, uh, the late Jackson Mtembu's colleagues, the minister's uh, colleagues coming indeed to pay their last uh, respects uh, there. And uh, as uh, Natasha was uh, mentioning there, the DG of uh, GCIS, Pumla Williams, really battling there. Um, as we rightfully do uh, understand, they were very closely together many times as the media would cross to media briefings where uh, she would be together with uh, Jackson and Tembu, uh, briefing us uh, ironically indeed, as uh, Natasha says, about COVID-19 and, and really all the, all the issues and what we need to adhere to. Um, so really quite a sad and sadly ironic indeed um, that uh, today we say farewell. Um, to the late uh, minister. Let's listen in and go back um, to those officials. Going back, uh, we're going in and out of uh, Mpumalanga and just seeing uh, those uh, visuals indeed from uh, Emma Lacheni, uh, Mpumalanga, our reporter Natasha Piri, uh, there for us. She'll certainly be keeping us updated as to what's happening. So our team there continues uh, to stay there uh, throughout uh, the day as, uh, of course, uh, people come to pay their respects, his colleagues, uh, his friends, his comrades and relatives uh, coming to the house to pay uh, their last respects in his hometown of uh, Mpumalanga. All